Mr. Schneider. Charlie. How's it going, sir? It's going great. How are you? I can't complain. I'm face to face with a legendary man. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the same hair. <laughs> Uh, I can't do it like you can, though. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. Where are you, Charlie? I am in North Carolina right now, sir. Oh, terrific. I was just in South Carolina at Cherokee Speedway. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there uh, for the uh, the Rebel 50 just this uh, Saturday night. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you could have come down. Could have come down. Well, yeah, I uh, I was talking to uh, your your prodigal son uh, Tom Welling and uh, a bunch of other people and everything like that, and I, they had some great things to say. So I couldn't help but get the chance to talk to the man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, you know, Jonathan Kent. I mean, I had to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you for that. I uh, yeah. very proud to be Jonathan Kent. That was a great role. It was a great show. Yes, sir. And when I when I came into it, I was uh, when they asked me to to come and meet them about it. I didn't want to meet them because I thought we don't need to we don't need to destroy the legend of Superman. But then I read it, and I thought mm -hmm. this is the this is the greatest installment of of uh, the Superman legacy ever. So uh, I was delighted. What yes, is you have a, a specific question because they've got their clock yeah. running. We just yeah, that's okay. Uh, you actually kind of touched on it. Um, for it's like it's a compliment and a question. Um, okay. Ironically enough, what you said. Um, I, look, I grew up watching you and everything like that. I mean, of course, you know, Dukes of Hazard, but you will always and forever be my Jonathan Kent. Um, I had Onion Ninjas thrown at me in season five when that moment happened, and oh everything. Yeah. And um, but from season one all the way to five. And then that happens. And then they call you back and like, hey, uh, there's an alternate version of uh, Jonathan Kent uh, on Earth 2. And then they get that call and come back and play a different version. But then to get the honor of coming back as like a, a ghost or like a, you know, angel per se to give Clark the go ahead and, you know, the quote, always hold on to Smallville and always to hand him that Smallville. suit and to hand on that suit. How? How was that experience? I got to ask. Well, you know, it was um, it, it very interesting because that was a two part, was a two hour show. And just with with rules, uh, Screen mm -hmm. Actors Guild rules, they couldn't they couldn't afford to pay John Schneider, the actor, to come and be in the second part. And oh. I said, well, wait a minute, I. I so Clark was just going to find the suit in the ice. And I said, this, this can't be. This, is a, this would be a, a tremendous disservice to every fan of this show. Jonathan Kent has got to pass on the suit and thereby authenticate and okay the creation of Superman. Oh, and they God. said, we can't afford it. And I said, I, I will pay you. They said, you can't do that. And I said, well, then just pay me whatever the, whatever the minimum is. So I'm, I've been doing this a long time. I get quite a bit of, of, of money to do what I do. And I, I, that's the, the, uh, the first time in 35 years I'd been paid scale. And it was at my request so that you could have that look on your face right now. Yeah, I need ninjas. Right? Thank you so much for doing that, sir. That's I can't a, uh, imagine. I can't. I I just could not imagine Clark going off without having his dad be the one that sent him. Yeah, it right. was so it was so poetic and so amazing at the same time. I remember watching that whenever I was getting ready to start college and everything like that and everything else. And I was just like, you know, turn around, you know, always hold on to small. I'm like, oh God, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Power on through it, and uh, <laughs> get, and then he leaps up in the air, and just a legendary thing like that. And of course, it was artwork great. and the shirt, and oh, oh no! I'm and, gonna tell you one other thing. One other thing about sure, they, please. Uh, the night that I passed away, the night that I died, I was. They were supposed to find me in the driveway, already dead. Really? And I said no. I read the red badge of courage. Jonathan Kent is the closest thing to John Wayne that's ever been. So 
I, and they didn't like me for this. They were very upset with John Schneider because I said, I will not do it as written. I will be on my feet when they show up and I will die in the loving arms of my family. Ah. And can you imagine what that, how awful it would have been if they just drove and I'm, I'm dead in their headlights. I'm About, just... And I also, I died like this. It was, yes, it was a, a, a Christ figure, a crucifixion. Yeah, oh my that God, was, I can't imagine. But, but that made me an enemy of the state. Oh, I'm no. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. I'm so yeah. glad, too. I can't imagine that going any other way. Oh, my God. That made my brain go and, back and, and think I'm about sorry, that. I, have, I had a line that, that, that I threw in there that they didn't, you know, they had to win some battle, right? Yeah. But it was late at night, and I was now a problematic actor not doing what he was told. But when I, I looked at Martha, and then I looked at Clark, and I said, this is not your fault. And then I mm. died. They, they, uh, cut, they cut that out. But now you're the only one who knows that. Ah, oh, John. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. It's, I can't tell you how much watching you perform and do stuff like this and just even the trot, like even some comp comedic stuff, teaching Clark the heat vision, I still get a kick oh, out of it. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> My favorite, my favorite part of that whole like like having your son have superheroes was kind of a problem was when he yeah. got upset and threw the tractor over the barn. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was very funny. Um, and then when I finally got to come back in, in, in season 10 and I had the long hair, I had the long yeah. hair because I was doing a movie called Collier and Company. And I was oh. right in the middle of it and I couldn't cut my hair. So I said, look, I want to come back, but I can't. You know, I can't cut my hair. Yeah. Uh, so it was okay because I was a ghost or an apparition or, or a conscience or whatever in the world I was. Yeah. But um, I remember standing at the fence and uh, they were taking our picture. And I said, Tom, this is, this, this, this is the picture you will see and I will see for the rest of our lives. So, <sighs> so let's make it a good one. And there's a wonderful picture out there of, of he and I at the fence and I'm, I'm talking to him and I said, now you've got to look like you're taking my advice and it means something to you. And Tom Welling is so good. So good at that. He'd look at me with that, you know, kind of inquisitive puppy stare. And I had my head on his shoulder and I'm, I'm, so it was a wonderful experience. I I remember that scene specifically season 10, you know, dad, I can't do this without you. And you just like, yes, you can. And it's like, ah, got me again with the onion ninjas. Ah, because he was made for for you know we're all i believe this by the way charlie we are all made for we are very specifically fashioned to to do something okay we are put here for a reason we're not just breathing air so there is something that you have to do there is something that i have to do there's something that everybody has to do that only we can do and the reason why jonathan kent rang so true to you is that john schneider believes that with every fiber of his being. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So whatever it is you are here to do, are you in, are you actively doing it? Yes, sir. I'm a teacher. I really, I hope I'm hitting all. Excellent. So each one of your children, each one of your students is here for a very special, specific reason. Make sure you open that up in them. I will, sir. I promise okay. you that. Because there's a whole world telling them they're they're just here taking up space. It's a lie. Yes, sir. All right. Let's All take right. a picture. Smile. Sound I want to. I want to take a good picture with you. All right. Yes, Let's take a selfie. Three, two, one. Thank you so much. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what do you teach, Charlie? Martial arts, sir. Oh, fantastic. We need that. <laughs> So what it was, you. you must be a, you must be a, a fifth degree six what are you I am a second don in Chianru um Chinese Chung Fa Japanese Okinawa and Korean Hyung and I take Kendo and Iaido and hints of Wing Chun I was going to go 
uh, overseas uh, this the coming years, but we all know what happened. Right. Um, well, I tell you what is important is you can you can explain to your students um, your perspective on the Asian culture that they're not getting from the news or they're not going to get from anywhere. So you must obviously have a great respect for that culture. Please pass that on to them so that they will not remain misinformed. Yes, sir. Okay. Charlie, you take care of yourself. It, it is an honor, fight. sir. It's a true honor. Like in the final chat of the Smallville panel, it, I can't think of it any other way or any other better way. Well, I'm honored. I am honored. You take care of yourself, Thank my friend, and uh, continue to change the world. All right? That's Thank why you for here. 10 years. Thank you for 10 years of Smallville, sir. You're welcome. Bye. Always hold on to Smallville.